Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel, spirit, guys, ancestors, and out of the highest white light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collector. Please, and thank you. All right, yo, I feel like your divine counterpart collective wants to own up to uh, his mess, like the things that he have done. All right. So whatever could have caused you and this person to be in separation, this person is like owning up, is wanting to own up to like what they did. You know what I'm saying? So this person could be, you know, coming into realization like, you know what? I feel like it's my fault that me and my divine counterpart is in separation. And I need to apologize. Like, I need to make things right. So this is what this person is wanting to do. But I feel like during this separation, this person is like, or was realizing like, you know, what they truly want. You know, what they want in a woman what they want in like a relationship. What is it that they just really want out of life, period? This is just somebody that's realizing what do they want? Because long as this person was unsure on what he really wanted, it was going to always be leaving you confused. Because it could be like one minute, it's like he want a relationship. One minute, it's like he don't know what he want. He don't know if he really want that. You know what I'm saying? So this person had to be sure about what he wanted and do he want this relationship with you. You know what I'm saying? And like that's what I'm, you know, feeling like he has been doing during the separation here. Okay? Some of you all could be wanting to move on with your life. Okay? Because whatever this person did or whatever he said, I feel like it did break your heart or disappoint you. Okay, and some of you all could have been waiting for a while. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of you all wait was already being patient. You were already being patient. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you you love this person. You wanted to make things work with this person, and it's like he came in and did something that kind of like put the icing on the cake, and you like you know what? You can have it. And some of you all, you, you you know, you like, I'm moving on with my life. So some of you all are leaving behind a twin flame connection and you're going towards a high level soulmate. And, and you know, you, ha you could have some of you all that still believe in your twin flame and you want this person. But I feel like you all want love because you were already being patient with this person. And it's like whatever they did this very last time, it's kind of like, bro, I was already waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? I was some of you all feel like you was putting yourself on hold. You know what I'm saying? And this person wasn't even really sure on what he wanted. And like some of you all just have made a decision to, you know, I feel like this person will always be in your heart, but it's like you have made peace with it. And some of you all just ready to let it go. You like, look, I'm moving on with my life. And guess what? Right when you're now at this point to where you're ready to let it go and you are okay with not being with this person, look, please give me a second chance. Now that you don't want it or you don't care about it no more, you know what I'm saying? Now that it don't even matter if you with this person no more, now he wants a second chance. Ain't that crazy? Like you were patient with this person so some of you all could have waited months or even years for this person to get it right you 
Yeah, see, the collective, this this person never expected to fall in love with you the way that they did. This person fell in love with you real quick. And this person might not have ever been in love like that y'all with nobody. That's what I'm really getting. Your divine counterpart, y'all, I don't feel like ever been in love with anybody like the way that he's in love with you. And he could have had a very funny way of showing it. But he fell in love with you so quick. And that's why he had to be sure, you know... He just had to be sure on, you know, how he was feeling. This is somebody here, y'all, that never have failed for nobody this fast. And so when he fell for you real fast, he's like, wait a minute. Is this real? Is this infatuation? Like, what is it? This is somebody here that maybe didn't even expect to fall in love, y'all. Okay, I'm man, I'm gonna be honest. Like, he never expected to fall in love with you, probably. You know what I'm saying? When you all met, this is somebody here that didn't know about no twin flame connection. You all might have known, but this person did not know anything about no twin flame connection when you all first met. But I feel like he knew it was something different because he fell in love with you so fast. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole vibe. You were different from anybody he has ever been with before. It wasn't the same. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel like it could have scared him a little bit. Like, wait a minute. Like, I ain't never felt these type of feelings before. And I've never caught feelings this fast. Yeah. It was love, though. He fell in love. It wasn't just... Oh, I like her. No, it's oh no. He 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 love you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was outsiders interfering in this relationship. This is somebody here, y'all, that could have definitely wanted a relationship, could have wanted to, you know, be with you, but he had people around him that maybe wanted to have him keep his options open or have him go towards somebody else or had a whole lot to say because he cared about you, how things would look, how you were. Like, this is just people that had a whole lot to say. And y'all... I really believe if, if it wasn't for other people interfering into this connection, you all would be together. Like, and you all wouldn't be going through half of the stuff that you all, you know, would have went through or are currently going through if it wasn't for outsiders. Okay. A lot of people were interfering in y'all relationship and that's why it didn't work or that's why you all could be going through so many different things like one minute is okay one minute it's stagnant that's why it was other people okay it was other people and they were trying to control this person and they was trying to control this connection okay Yeah, this person missing you. This person miss talking to you. They miss the sound in your voice. They're just missing you all together, but especially missing conversations with you here. So maybe you all talked a whole lot. Maybe you when eat when you all weren't around each other, you all talked on the phone or something like that. But this person miss having conversations with you. They miss the sound of your voice. 
okay? They just ready to reach out to you, okay? This is somebody here that's ready to, like, make things right here, okay? This person is hoping that you give them a second chance. They're hoping that in the future you all can try this again and they feel like maybe it'll be a better time. This is somebody here that feels like you were the right person but at the wrong time in their life because they were unsure on what they wanted but also they had negative attachments. They had all these people in their ear and around that really didn't y'all have the best interests of heart okay and and they really really honestly i feel like was jealous and envious of this person and you in this connection point blank period okay and so this person is just wishing and hoping that maybe in the future you all will be together and things will be better okay yeah i just seen 11 11 so that definitely this is a twin flame yeah oh it says please forgive me i know i messed up and i fear you will never forgive me this person feel like whatever he did you'll never forgive him he is constantly replaying what he said and what he did and he feel like you will never forgive him. Like, he feel like whatever he did, is it's over. Like, ain't no coming back from it. He feel like ain't no coming back from what he did. So, for some of y'all, he ain't reached out because he feel like you're going to reject him. He feel like he has did so much in this last time. Because, like I said, y'all was already patient, right? So he feel like, man, this woman was patient. She was waiting for me. She was waiting for me to get it together. And I just had to mess up one more time. And that's how he's currently feeling. And he feel like you'll never forgive him. And it's like he gonna come in begging for your forgiveness or something. Or he can already, y'all, energetically, you could be feeling his energy. Like you could be feeling sadness. And it could be coming from this person. It's because he really regret what he did or how he did it. And he like, look, please forgive me. I know I messed up. But he really do feel like you won't though. It's like he wants you to. He's hoping that you will, but he feel like you ain't. Yep. Wow, y'all. Yeah. He in love. This is the thing. He 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 like, how could I treat somebody like this that I am in love with? I'm in love with this woman, but why did I do what I did? That's what he keep beating himself up over. How can I be this in love with somebody, but I keep messing up and keep doing these things to them? Because this is somebody here to look at you as perfect, right? This person in love with you, Collector. So if you was wondering how he currently feeling, is he thinking about you? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's thinking about you a lot. Okay? He can't stop thinking about you. And he's he's hoping that you will forgive him. Yeah. He finds you to be absolutely beautiful inside and out. Okay? Like, you're everything that this person could, could ever could have ever dreamed of okay yeah Then y'all did not say that. Look at this. It says, I've never experienced 
this intense connection before. Okay. Uh, so this man here, y'all, has never felt anything like this before in his life. Never. It's it's intense. Like he's never felt anything like this ever. And he don't want you to walk away. He don't want you to walk away. That's why this person is like, look, I hope the future brings us together. Because he ain't going to never be able to get over you. This is somebody here that's going to want to always, always, always be a part of your life. Some way, somehow. Even y'all, I feel like this is somebody here that don't want to be just your friend. But he was set up being just your friend just so he don't lose, you know. This is somebody here that just don't want to lose, you know. any kind of like a connection with you so they don't want it to be where they can't call or they can't text or you know they ain't, they can't look at your social media like they don't know what you're doing what you're up to this is somebody that always want to be in your life somehow he want to be with you but like i said this is somebody here that would even settle to be just your friend because he can't get over you. There's somebody here that cannot get over you. Like it's he, and that's why now he's sure of what it is. At first, he was unsure on what it was, but now he's sure. He like, look, I know it's love. I it can't be nothing else but that. I know that this is what this is. If it was anything other than that, I would have been gotten over. It would I would have been cool. This is somebody here that'll never be able to get over you, and the feelings that he have is very intense. Okay. And he's praying for forgiveness. Like he wants you to forgive him and he wants you to give him a second chance. It says, I never experienced this intense connection before. He's never experienced this before collective, ever. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody here, y'all, that was scared. It says, please be patient because I am afraid of commitments. The reason why he acted out and did what he did was because he was scared of commitment. He was scared of commitments because he was scared of being hurt and betrayed. So he acted out. But he was in love with you the whole time and acted out. Yeah, that's what it was, y'all. That's what it was. But baby, he finna ask you for a second chance. Okay? But that is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you. And I do too.